In most parts of Afghanistan, people are in need of clean water, bridges, and various other community improvements. Task Force Iron Titan has a project that actually pays Afghans to improve their own villages and communities. They call it Operation Extreme Makeover, and they're putting it to work in Shark. We have these, uh, these projects. I know, you know our unit has come to the village before and asked you about projects. I think it was a footbridge. Ask him if there's, that's still a project he wants to do. Well, we're trying to just uh, um, talk to the uh, locals and see what they need. Because uh, they're, they're turning towards uh, the enemies looking for uh, you know, just simple handouts for cell phones. Uh, just anything like that, so we're just trying to give them jobs. Operation Extreme Makeover pays local Afghans to build bridges, dig wells, and complete various other projects. It's, it sounds too good to be true. I know, it sounds too good, but that's all you got to do. You just got to build that footbridge and we repay you for it. After completing projects, the Afghans contact Iron Titan soldiers who review the work and then compensate the Afghans for supplies and labor up to $5,000. The money gives local Afghans incentive to work and potentially keeps them from taking bribes from anti-Afghan forces. You know, if they don't have money, they can't put food on their table. And, you know, who's paying? You know, it, the enemy's been paying, and that's what kind of the Extreme Makeover Project is, is meant to do. It's, it's to pay them to, to, to work to improve their, their own community rather than, you know, just a couple dollars to go shoot at the Americans or go shoot at the ANA, go shoot at the AMP. With the word out, all the soldiers can do is wait and hope the Afghans come through. It started, we know all the work that, that we want to get done, now it's really up to the people you know, to get the work done that we've told them to get done and we're going to pay them to get done. So um, you know, I think in the, in the upcoming weeks we'll really see you know, how, how much the people really want the, want the money and, and want to do work. With their future in their hands, Afghans now have the power to build themselves a better life. From Shark Afghanistan, I'm Specialist Chris Baker reporting for Task Force Spartan.